Hi everyone and welcome to part 42 of my GTA VCS Special Vehicle Guide. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to obtain a fireproof squallow. And this is from the robbery mission, specifically mission number 3. I think you can also get it from mission number 5, but I'd get it from mission number 3 if I were you. It's a bit easier. Right, I would rate this a 4 star difficulty, only because obtaining a boat in general is a lot of hassle. Because, you know, to save it in your garage, you have to do a lot of manual pushing, and it can be a real pain in the backside. So, yeah, I would reckon I recommend this not for, you know, the unpatient. Right, so what we need to do is we need to um, just get to the location. Right, I'm almost there. Now, there are going to be some bodyguards. But the funny thing is, if you don't proceed with the quest, the boats are undrivable. You can't drive the Squallow or the Speeders. Um, so what you need to do is you actually need to kill the guys and take the briefcase before you fail the mission. Don't ask me why it happens, I don't know why, but if you cancel the mission now, you won't be able to drive the boats at all. So quickly take care of these clowns. Try not to damage the boat too much. Right, there we go. Now simply cancel the mission. And now you'll be able to drive the boat. So basically what we need to do now is we need to beach it. And there's a good location to do this. I'll show you now. Exactly the way we obtain the comprehensive proof Yola from unfriendly competition, you want to beach the boat here. So um, get to exactly where that red square is and I'll get back to you. And hopefully you didn't attract a wanted level either, because you can easily get a two star from that level. Right everyone, I've made it to the beaching location, which is just here. And we're just going to literally floor it there and beach it. Aim for the chunder wheel. And that was a pretty good beach. Right, what you need to do now is just get any vehicle from the road. Don't worry, the boat will not disappear because you've used it. Um, obviously, just be a little bit aware that um, it has a tendency to vanish sometimes, but it shouldn't do. So I'd get a land stalker or like any sort of van or something like that. I think a burrito would be fine. And yeah, we're going to have to gradually push the boat to the road. It's going to be a little time consuming, but that's why there's a four star difficulty here. You know, this is this was not going to be a piece of cake. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly easy to push compared to what you'd expect. But it still has a tendency to get stuck, unfortunately. I don't know why, but it just does. You know, it pushes very, very smoothly and then suddenly it will just jam up. Like that. Right guys, I, just, I did get it unstuck luckily. It was stuck on one of those stupid boxes. And also watch out for the um, picnic tables. They can really be a right pain in the ass. So as you can see, it can push quite well, even with a bobcat. So you can use pretty much any vehicle, just take your time. Don't be too overly aggressive because the boat's not damage proof. However, I've never had it smoke yet, so you know it probably can withstand a large amount. But as you, as you see, what we want to do is push it up this path, and then we'll be on track. So the next step is to get it to the road. And then from there on in, we'll just get it to the safe house garage. And it does fit. It might not look like it, but it will fit. Just about. So yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm at the road. Right guys, I pretty much got it to the road now. Watch out for that tree. Just like George of the Jungle, of course, because it's going to get in the way of the boat. So when you get past this little obstacle, you'll be on the road. And from then on in, you just get it to the safe house. So if you watched my Comprehensive Proof Yola video, you'll know what to do from now. But if not, then yeah, I'll still show you what to do. These two trees are bugging the hell out of me. 
Yeah, even if the boat moves really slowly, it'll still move. So there you go, it's on the road now. Awesome stuff. Try and get it on the other side of the road so you don't get too much traffic blocking you. There we go. And also be really careful because if you blow up your car and it blows up another car, it might start blowing up like a chain reaction. And then you get this kind of horrible situation where another car just explodes near the boat and then it gets damaged. So you've got to be a little bit aware of your environment here. You don't want a chain reaction explosion. Sure, by now you know where the safe house is, so I don't need to put it on the map. Oh shit. Right, quick. Good. Lamppost, lamppost. Right, almost there. Struggle will be over soon. Yeah, so the speeder is a bit easier to get than the squallow, but still, the squallow is not too bad. It could be worse, I guess. And the great thing about the climb in a suite is you have the dock right next to you. So to be honest, pushing it in the water is not exactly a difficult challenge. You just have to use something rather strong and just push it. Right, there we go. So definitely you want to push it this way around, towards the garage. So the first thing you do is just get it out of the way of the road so cars can't possibly push it out of the way again. As you can see it fits in nicely. Then you just push it round like that, and the door should close. There we go. Right, let me just get a flame for her. Yeah, as you can see, it takes a lot of room, guys. So definitely make a, a spare file slot if you want to get this boat. Otherwise, it's kind of awkward. Right, I'll show you now it's fireproof. Fireproof Squallow, everyone. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.